that didn't quite click um, for David Raya. Um, and listen, this this uh, young Italian boy, Vicario, has come in with glowing references. I have to confess, I don't know anything about him, but when you when you get references from one of the one of the best goalkeepers of of generation of a generation in in Gigi Buffon, um, and then you get a Mourinho reference. Um, and you get the Mourinho stamp and seal of approval, that usually means something. And Mourinho is very rarely wrong when it comes to players. For what You can say what you like about Jose, but he knows people um, and he knows personalities, I think, probably better than most um, in the world of football. Um, and to get a reference and a glowing one at that from, from Mourinho, I think, speaks absolute volumes. Um, and and yeah, it could it could turn out to be a, an absolute steal um, with with regards to Vicario, but I guess it's a case of we'll wait and see on on that one. And I'm glad you've mentioned it. It's moved in very nicely to the next conversation I'm going to have with George, and that is uh, Vicario, because like as I said, it seems like we've gone off the the scent of uh, David Ryan. We're going to go for Vicario. So what's your kind of initial thoughts on him? Because I don't really know a lot about him. I'm probably on the same page as Wes, as in I only know the glowing reviews he's kind of have. So what's your kind of take on him? Yeah, I mean, a similar sort, uh, sort of boat to you guys. It was like I, I didn't know who he was, so obviously I do what I normally do, and then I spent the next few hours until like three in the morning just trying to find as much information as possible <laughs> about him. And to be honest with you, like everything that's come back has been, it comes back that he's almost identical to to Raya when it comes to statistics. And now I'm always the first one to say that statistics aren't everything. You still have to watch a player um, to see what they're really like. But at the end of the day, we are sort of heading down this data-driven route that the likes of Brighton and Brentford are doing. Um, and to be honest with you, he passes with, with flying colours. And I was, I was trying to test it against other goalkeepers throughout Europe in the top five leagues. And he was still one of the top ones. So I think the problem with a lot of fans at the moment is that... <laughs> If you've never heard of them before, you're then automatically assuming they're crap and then you're saying that all over social media are saying that they're crap. When in reality, there's been a lot of posts since from Italian fans saying that they just could not believe the ignorance of us English fans um, and that they're pretty much every single one that's been posted, they've all said that he was the uh, third, if not second best goalkeeper last season in the Serie A, which is, is pretty insane from someone that we've, we've never heard of. Um, he definitely is able to collect the ball in a box a lot easier than... Or, or sorry, should I say, not collect the ball. He's, he meets the ball in an area a lot more than Raya does, a lot more commanding, like, like Wes is get, getting on to. So that's a good sign. The only issue I have with him from every clip that I've seen, from every stat that I've looked at, is that he does like to parry the ball a lot, mm. which can be very scary when it comes to a Spurs defence. <laughs> so I can't... Like, that's the one attribute I'm, I'm not looking forward to, but his saveability and the fact that um, the way he plays with his feet is very good as well. It, the data in that situation can be skewed as well um, because the way Empoli play is just very direct. A lot of a lot of long balls to the forward line is what is what he's known for doing. But a lot, of, yeah, a lot of the Italian fans have put us onto the games against like Inter Milan or Fiorentina, and in those situations where those sort of the, the better teams in the league have to they end up pressing really high you actually get to see a lot of those moments where he is very comfortable with the ball at his feet and he's chipping them to either the center backs or the full backs so it looks like he can do it but at the end of the day i think we just sort of have to wait and see uh i guess how he adapts and whatnot but like a final thing on that i think and just made it very clear that with all his players it's not just their abilities it's about how they are as a person and again it's all sort of glowing reports on 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 Vicario's end, I mean, supposedly he's hosting Ukrainian families in his household. So if that is true, then he seems to be a wonderful person as well as a great character as well as a good footballer. So yeah, I think we're just going to have to wait and see and, and hopefully prove, and prove that this data method is correct. Because mm, like you said, it seems like it's the new approach we're going for. And, and Jay, I know you've mentioned before in terms of, I wouldn't say a snobbery. It's more of a, we turn our nose up at everything that isn't a player we've never heard before. And I'm probably granted to that as well. So mm. with that, with what Georgie says, what Wes has alluded to, and your own opinion, what do you kind of make the transition from moving from a Premier Proven goalkeeper to one that we've never really heard of? Well, I'm going to throw you under the bus a little bit here because the first thing I heard of him was you showing me a compilation video of all of his awful saves that someone had put into a compilation and put on Twitter. Um, so, yeah, the first impressions weren't great. 
Um, but yeah, l- like George said, just a little bit of research into him actually as a goalkeeper. Um, you'll see that you know you're not playing. He's not playing in a top six team, so he's he's not gonna you know he's gonna be facing double the shots of any of the goalkeepers in the top six in that league. So the there's double the saves, but also double the chance that someone can clip it and put it on Twitter when you you know make a nice little parry and palm it straight to the striker. But what you don't see is the ten saves he's made beforehand. Um, and and also the thing is as well. Um, I obviously when Ange came in, I was a little bit cautious, but I, I, I'm I'd like to think I like most Spurs fans. I'm just here to trust the process in the sense of um, if we want them and it's going to be a rebuild and he might be rubbish for a year, then you know we're just going to have to put up with it this year. I feel like this year is just going to be it's going to be very very weird. It's going to be. I don't think, you know, if if people think we're just going to bounce back and be top four again, I don't think that's going to happen. But then I'm also I'm also prepared for that. And, and I think getting in players that have got potential, that have got these reviews, like you said, you know, to, to, to you know, for Gigi to say that about him. If Casillas had said it, I would have, you know, taken it more literally because he's a much better goalkeeper than Buffon. But, you know, if if to get that review, you know, that that's all you need to know. And, and but he's just got to prove himself. But I also, I know, I know as everything on Twitter is, you know, there's people, he's at the airport, he's, you know, the medical's being done. I'd still love it if we got rare for 30 million, just like this was all a power play to get Brentford to put their price down. Vicario is actually in London because he's going to go and sign for Watford next season, not for <laughs> us, you know, like it's an absolute power play, you know, like it's a reverse William. We paid for his plane to get to London and then we're just going to sign Raya because Brentford realised that Chelsea won't want him because they're going to go for Onana probably. Um, but, you know, levy thousand IQ plays and all that. <laughs> oh, my days. Um, but no, I, I don't know if we've gone that far. Um, I, I, I know that Levy's got some big <laughs> brains up there sometimes, but I don't know if he's got that in him. Um, <laughs> but in terms of Vicario, I think you were right. I think I definitely did him a dirty just watching. It reminded me of Horelio Gomez. It was giving me nightmares. That's of exactly what you it said. Out. <laughs> to, to be fair, if we watch Larissa's one from this year, it'll be about oh, yeah. 10 minutes long. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I suppose it swings in roundabouts. Um, but no, I'm quite excited to see if, if Vicario does come. Um, like, like we said, it, it looks like it's done. Uh, it would just be interesting if he it can live up to, to the good high praises he's been given. 